All right, welcome back to another Ixalan Draft Arena Craft Arena. I don't know why it's called that. Okay. I still just want to take the Bombard here. I think it's one of the stronger commons in this set. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if people are going to be like, it's a terrible common. It doesn't kill many of the things in the format that you're worried about. And I'm going to be like, all right, you got it. I think we did get stomped last draft because we didn't have enough dumplings. So that's a good point. What do you think about Protean Raider? It's a 2-2 with Raid. If you attack with the creature this turn, you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. Kind of like it. It's not bad. It, it It's good for the... Uh, I'll take my wallet out because it's a thing. Uh, it's good for the, the pirate archetype. We got Daring Buccaneer, which is the 2-2 two -two for 1. Hornswoggle. Counter a creature spell and make a treasure for 3. So I think maybe one of these comes back. Probably not you this, Swoggle obviously. the Horn. Did Mitchell fill out the application to become your houseboy and learn magic from you? Uh, not yet. He doesn't actually know how to write, so uh, we've been... My name is Jeff. We've been teaching him how to write because, boy, he's really a lost cause. But, you know, maybe eventually. Did we just take this guy? Whatever dealt damage, your opponent sacrifice a permanent. That's pretty good. I mean, it's an 8-5. That's pretty huge. It does cost 7 mana, though. That's true, but that's less than 8. I think 7 and 8 is a big difference. Did you know that seven is one less than eight? I'm going to get back to you on that. Okay. Bombarded here? Oh, this is the last pick. Come on, Adam JR. I get it together. Buccaneer. I like Buc Buccaneer's Bravado for a pirate deck. Plus one, plus one, and double strike. But I also just like taking the seven mana big idiot. Everyone says it's not good. All right, we'll take Bravado. I'll trust you guys because I just I get I get blinded by big idiots in drafts. So I'm like, ooh. Look at this jungle creeper. Look at this swamp thing. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Doesn't even have a head. Wow, that's that's a real headist thing to say, bro. I, I think it's water knot, actually. This is a uh, pretty solid, right? Tap a dude and then it doesn't untap. It's just it's just claustrophobia. Yeah. Uh, it's just a 3-3 three, three that takes, makes a treasure. Yeah, we'll just take this guy. I can show you. No way. Seven mana has seemed like a lot to get to in this format. That has been my impression as well. Dead Eye Rig Hauler seems amazing, right? Like, this card just blew me out by bouncing my six drop last game. Yeah, it's pretty good. It made me feel some type of way. I do like, I do like this, and I think if one of these comes back, it's great. I just think it doesn't matter as long as it's a pirate. Oh, you got a wall here. When it dies, you get a treasure. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. So fast on anything. You may cast him from your graveyard if you gain life this turn. That guy's good, but... I, I don't... Brixus Spritz. Even though this goes Vampire Knight? <laughs> yeah. He can be... He can change his job. <coughs> it's a hard... I don't know, man. It's kind of, It's a hard economy. Has anyone else noticed the two little dumplings going by? <laughs> oh, God. I'm just going to take the crown here. Oh, man. Do we just... Is it three... Are these three color decks or two color decks in this format? I don't know. Target opponent reels his hand. You choose an online shot. It's just coercion. 2-2 uh, two, two for three. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a pirate card. Oh, this is just the, uh, the pirate one. Sure. I think it's just Trailblazer. I think this is probably just more consistent than this. Plus, you can put the crown on the Trailblazer. They can't block that. Oh, actually, there's a Water Knot here. It's yeah. probably just Water Knot, right? Water Knot. Oh, look. Shake the Foundations again. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake Foundations. That was good, man. I want to take this Traveler's Amberlin in case we want to play three colors. I don't think a 1-3 for two is what we're looking for. That's not in our tribe. This this 1-2 for two is not what we're looking for. And Shake isn't really what we're looking for. The fixing has seemed a lot better. Like, there are the off-color lands. There's Traveler's Amulets. There's Evolving Wilds. Look at this Dinosaur Hunter. When it deals damage to a dinosaur, destroy it. Wow. So this guy's a 2-1 when it attacks. 
Or we can just take another bravado. Oh, actually, with this guy. He has flying as long as it's attacking. Yeah, that guy seems great. Yeah, I got I'm just you. taking that guy. That guy is where we want to be. Oh, I like. Oh, Hornswoggle's good, right? Just counter a creature and get a treasure. Right? I guess. Doesn't that make you feel some type of way? It's I mean, three mana counter spell. Countering like a six six is huge, though, right? Sure. God, you don't. You're not ever like feeling some type of way. I don't believe I, nonsense. I know you don't. You don't believe anything, but yourself. I believe in death. Oh, our red is pretty medium now. I'm going to take Harpy. Squawk. Or I just take Spire Winder. I don't think this card's good. 2, 3, for 4. That becomes a 3, 4. Maybe it's good. No, Harpy's way better. All right. Harpy it is. Oh, we got the Brazen Freebooter. I'm not going to control another dinosaur, but you're the only on-color card I would take, so. Oh, look at this little nerd. Oh, look, we got him. We got one anyway. Hooray. Oh, look, we got another Sworn Guardian. You can be sworn in the sideboard. Wow. Wow. Oh, Journey to Eternity. This card seems sweet. Do you know what this card does? Not anything that matters. I mean, it, it would if we were in, it was on color. But it's not. Wow. But it's not. <laughs> what does this do? Draw two if you have a space draw three. That's pretty good. It's okay. I think it's just Kite Sail Courser again. Yeah. The two three is good because the set is underpowered. One three is playable too. Wow, you guys are telling me all the junk is playable. Actually, based on the previous games, the the one three does actually seem reasonable. Silvergill add up. That dude's a classic. I'm gonna wait to look at this rare. Oh, this card's great. But we also have this, which is draw a card uh, for five and a tap if you have the city's blessing, which gross. is gross. Gross good or gross bad? Gross bad. Really? The colorless land that takes time. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, you have to spend your whole turn to draw one card. Yeah, I'll just take the 3-2 the flyer for three. That seems probably better. That makes me feel... Ooh, release to the wind seems good. How Can do you, feel? you release with all the colors of the wind? Basically library, to be honest. Yeah, that seems... Wow. Like, it's almost identical. It's a junk format, so all the junk is pretty playable. Ooh, boy. What is this guy? Uh, Flash, as long as you control Merfolk... Yeah. Not great. No. I think it's just release, right? Sure. I don't know why that's a rare, though. Release is bad? That's interesting. Exile your own thing and bring it back. I thought that would have been good. You can also exile their thing on a phase where they can't recast it. We took we took old crashing to wow another water knot god god ah still seems good look at this idiot what is this weirdo a vampire spirit they can't how do they die they're already like you can't kill a vampire yeah well she got some garlic steaks oh attacking pirates get plus two plus oh that seems worth splashing for thought we were already well i guess we're not really black we're not really black but like this makes me want to like go into the color highland lake would be great but dire fleet neck neck beard is pretty good neck i like beard? this because did you call I, it neck beard yeah man <laughs> <laughs> i like that it's like you don't have to attack with this guy to get the bonus you could just play this guy and then start attacking with your flyers that seems insane oh there are treasures too that's true that also makes splashing easier oh i like this format he said one draft in. This is two drafts. Yeah, you're right. No, I said I well I meant with one draft of experience in. Oh. Whatever. I don't even like you, so I don't even know why I'm responding to you. I don't either. Look at this baby Phyrexian Rager. My name is Jeff. Okay. Sea legs. Alright, nothing. I'm just gonna take the baby Phyrexian. Oh, actually this monkey? Yeah, this guy's great. Alright, sure. 
Uh, I wouldn't say great, but he's probably better as a pirate that can he's do He's a monkey. Things. A monkey pirate. Dire fleet and neck beard. Eh, the goblin is a pirate. That's why we took that dude. Dead eye rig hauler. Yep, I will definitely take the... As the, many of those as possible. The, the other man of war, right? Deal. Oh, Flood of Reconciliation... Re recollection. I wonder if that's any good. No. Do you know that for a fact, or are you just joking? I know that for a fact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't. I'm basing it off of my many years of experience in this format. 2-4 with Death Touch for 4 seems fine. And then if you have uh, the City's Blessing, it, you draw a card when it deals damage. That seems good. Yeah, I like that. I'll take all these, these off-color uncommons that we got here. Ooh, I'll take Secrets of the City. Look at this horse. That is a horse. Why are all horses rearing in art? They're always... They're always doing this rear thing. Is that what it's called? Rearing? You're rearing. <laughs> you sound like a dang idiot. I'm just going to take River Darter in case you have to deal with uh, annoying annoying dinosaurs. Eh, these cards are exciting. I'll just take the Aquatic Incursion in case we want to add our merfolks to the deck. Could have taken that swamp and then uh, splash black. How many sworn guardians in the sideboard are too many? Good lord. Some type of way? You're doing good. You're doing good. Oh, all right. Seems like seems that's right. probably the pick. I mean, nothing else seems great here. probably going to be harder to cast. I don't know if I want a two drop that's that early, but I also don't know if, like, I don't care about favor wins. I don't care about run. Run of ground's good, but I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to be hurt if I can get the potential to play Fathom Fleet Captain Air deck. Also, probably not playing Harpy. And Siren River's probably a three drop. Holler, holler. Yep. Holler, yep. holler. We could go blue black, but then we're like I'd rather have Protean Raider and Dire Fleet Neckbeard. I'm probably can take out this guy. Yeah, we can just splash the the red instead of the black. Prosperous Pirates actually makes it pretty easy to cast that guy though, so. Fire Cannon Blast is good. Lightning Rigger crew is great. I think it's I think it's Lightning Rig crew. Yep. Yeah, this is a this is a heavy pirate deck and this is a good win condition. Stormfleet Arsonist. Oh, God. This guy is actually surprisingly worse than he seems. You're just like, ooh, a 4 4 for 5 to make some sack of perm. And then they're just like, all right, I'll put my eighth land in the graveyard. You're like, oh, right. that's not exciting. I thought they said Lost Vape for a second. All right, man, we get it. You vape. <laughs> make, you, make me feel some kind of vape. I'd like to take the blast, but we already have three water knots, and I don't know if we need a, a fourth double colored removal spell on three. Sure. Uh, actually, I do like Siren's Ruse because you can just blink a guy and then get a pirate back. I don't hate Dousing Dagger. I thought I didn't like it at first, but. Yeah, I'm going to take the Ruse. Oh, another Ruse. Oh, Primal Ammon? They're just giving me all the amulets here. Or all the, all the transformational artifacts here. That one's not as good. It's not. You're right. <laughs> but uh, Looter's pretty good. Is it? Do we want another four drop? Sure. We could also... I don't want to cut the black because it's so easy to splash at this point. Gross. Maybe you are. Huh. I didn't. I hadn't considered that. Yeah. At the beginning of your end step, if you attack with a creature, target opponent with the top four. That's a good, that's a good miller, but... Not really gonna. It's a good trap. Not really milling here. What's that weaver do? Uh, taps like two dudes down. Tap a creature. It's just a uh, frost links. Okay. Bounce spell does make a treasure. That's not bad. Uh, we didn't take it though. Eh, just take weaver, I guess. It's fine. I mean, it's not fine. It's just mediocre. But I guess that's fine, right? It's mediocre is fine. It's like Dead Eye Tracker. <clears throat> P 
probably the strongest card in the pack, I guess, for us anyway. I guess. Skin Shifter, that's a weird that's a weird name. I don't think I've seen this card before. A one for three, whenever it attacks, it becomes a copy of another target non legendary attacking creature on another turn. Interesting. That is interesting. Could be okay. Yeah, it's probably better than Buccaneers or Spell Pierce, whatever. Mm, we're gonna oh, is this actually the no what's the what's the pirate blade? Not that. Yeah, it's not that. Let's take a run of ground here. All right. I like having a Prosperous Pirates. That could be our 24th card. 23rd card. Mm, Dead Eye Plunders, sure. Another Siren's Ruse? Man. Man. All right, I'll take a cancel. Good cyborg. Good cyborg. Yeah. I love a good cyborg. All right, Coursers are not going to get cut. Siren's Ruse. Sworn Guardian can get the GTFO. Siren Reaver. Water not, water not, water not. Crashing Tide seems fine. We won't control a Merfolk, I don't think, but... Got to make one more cut. I imagine it's just going to be Dead Eye Plunders. Yeah, doesn't seem great. And bam, that's the deck. Done. Wow, that is not a lot of... Eight six three. Sure. Yeah, we actually don't have that much red either, and none of our red or black cards are red are two two colors. Uh, we cut plunders because its ability is way too expensive, and also because we have to cut something. I think it's probably the worst of the cards we have. I think brawler is better with death touch. I think uh, looter is obviously better. Neckbeard is definitely better. Neckbeard, huh? I can see cutting Spirewinder. Just because this is a pirate, so it has much better synergy with our deck. Spirewinder seems decent, though. We have a ton of flyers already. We got Siren Reaver. Uh, we have Double Kite Sail Courser. Yep, Spirewinder. That's what someone else said, too. All right, yeah, I agree with that. I just think the pirate theme is good, and also being able to just make a treasure if you get with extra mana is pretty sweet. All right. This deck seems cool. So, so far we went to one, one Dinosaurs, one Pirates. I feel some type of way about that. What type of way? Some, some type of way. Why are you like what, this? What type of way? I'll never, I'll never tell. I'll never tell. Yes. Oh, gross. Not the fan. Much better, actually. I guess we'll find out if we're dead. I'm going to bottom you because who knows? Who knows what's going to happen with you? What's a tie puff? Sounds delicious. Is that what goes in the bottom of Thai tea? Put those tie so. puffs in there. You want extra tie puffs in your tea? Well, yes, no, because that's weird. Oh, he just said yes. So this guy's just a copy. Like, I can just copy anything. Even a boat. It can be a boat. This is where they put two counters on this guy and just kill us with a 3-3. An unblockable 3-3. What is this guy? What? Great, I have no mana. Johnny's got a gun. Actually, it's Janie's got a gun. Janie's got a gun. What do my do? What's that Aerosmith song? You guys know Aerosmith? Everybody knows Aerosmith. What if they don't? Well, then they really need to 
get themselves together in some type of way. I don't think so. Remember when I have lands in our deck and I was like, oh. No. Me neither. That never happened. Oh boy. I love standard. It's going to be some type of way. I love standard format drafts, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like we're already dead like this is another this is another situation like the if you guys saw the previous draft where you just get into a situation where you're literally two turns behind or however many turns behind and that's enough to cost you the entire game like we can't block this guy profitably this guy can't block flying so we can't actually block any of their guys so we have no choice but to attack here we hit a land but that doesn't do much Blunder Bra, thank you so much for the, the, the bits and the cheers. I need liquid. Go get some liquid then. I'm sure you got this game. Is it going to take you the entire game? I mean, the way it looks, probably. Let's see. Block here, take three, four, five, six. Oh, and they have they have the ability to put counters on dudes. Yeah, we, we can't win this game. There's like no point to, to playing this game. Alright, that was a uh that was a thing. That was definitely a game of Magic the Gathering. Reaver can go here. We'll cut one ruse for a horn swoggle, I guess. Cut one of those for a... Jordan, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Seventeen lands and a traveler's amulet. Okay. <laughs> Deck seems super good. Uh sure. That feeling when you go to five mana, five cards, and uh, Hey, we got lucky. We did it. I like that this guy can attack, so if you need to trigger a raid, you just attack with your O5. Sure, block your 2 1. Something something Michael this way comes. Oh, a Savage Stomp. That makes total sense. Why wouldn't you have that? And can't cast that. Okay, so we're having a good time Sounds playing like Magic the Gathering online. We went 2-1 in the last draft because our opponent had uh, Registrar Alpha and the Uncommon Registrar Alpha. So they made six guys and uh, we had no way to deal with that because we drew three lands in the last few turns. 
Uh, so another situation where you just you lost the game ten turns before you actually lose the game, uh, and you just can't like this. Like we can't do anything about this. Like this is just. I'll, I'll draw my card. Hold on. Okay. Cool. I literally have no playable cards in my hand. So. Oh yeah. That went well. False. False. Mm. I feel like I never get this frustrated with um, cube drafting. This is a this is a problem that I've experienced recently for myself, and I'm not sure what to attribute it to. Whereas I will d get done drafting cube basically nonstop. I will have a blast every single time I do it, even if I lose on turn three because I get blown out because I know I could just do the same thing in the next game. Um, but then I'll just play the standard, the most recent uh, standard draft format that comes out, you know, after the vintage cube or whatever. And um, I just realize it's so. Like, you're losing to 1-1s one and 2-2s, two and you're like, well, I can't cast any of my spells, so. You said mana base should probably have more islands in it. That doesn't seem right. I think we have, like, eight islands. One, two, three, four. Eight islands is more than usual. I mean, we can put out, we can put a ninth island in, but I don't really feel great about it. Try with nine, I guess. But I mean, even, we only need one for everything but water knot. Water knots are only double, double blue spell, and we really want our other colors. So whatever, we'll see. Does the legacy cube come out? I have no idea. I mean, the vintage, the holiday vintage cube just just literally left like on the fifteenth, so two three days ago. So. um yeah, the, I I have to predict that the the Legacy Cube is not coming out for quite some time, especially when they want to capitalize on Rivals of Ixalan drafts. You doing okay? What are you looking at? You got Thanos? There's no Thanos up there. He's literally right. Oh, the statue. Oh. Are you? I'm like, are you for real? He's literally right there. Michael. Yeah, you better watch it. Please. What are you going to do? Chip, 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 chip. Yeah, you're going to chip, chip? Yeah, man, I'll chip, chip all day. Chip, chip, chip. I want to chip on you. See what you did there. The only thing that makes my life come, please, when I brought in chip. Yeah. Yeah, see? 01 versus 01. So... We could just have the double uh, the double two one drafts, I guess. I guess that's uh, still a viable option for our. Oh man, everyone's just playing miscloaked Carol on turn one, I guess. Which is pretty good with raid. I like that Protean Raider is a card, even if you don't have anything to raid it. Like, so it's not like a zero zero like most shapeshifters. It's a two two, I, so you can just play it by itself. Why is there a guy tied? It does look like you're tied up, actually. That's actually pretty hilarious. Uh... Send police. I told you to shut your mouth. <laughs> and that right there is the evidence we needed. <laughs> Go to jail, boys. Yeah, I don't think it's worth playing uh, what's his name right now. We can take three and then play a brazen freebooter. Unless they counter it, they're going to horn swoggle us. All right, Fnatic against Merfolk. That's the. I mean, like, the only thing I see is the stupid Miscloak Herald. That's the only Merfolk that I saw that it even kills. I'm going to. I'm going to take a. I'm going to take a, a tally of how many. How many guys they have that can actually get killed by it, but. Oh, play what you like might be my answer too in regards to modern. I'll be honest with you. Oh, look who it is. It's a pretty open format, right? Your mother's an open format. Wow. Actually, a turn three one three does not seem like their best option. So, how do I like this format so far? This is my second draft, and uh, now I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually the worst thing I've ever played. 
Like, I just don't understand why you have to have, like, I don't know, man, whatever. I hate it. They're not blocking, so whatever. I'll get in there. I don't care. My, you know my dad. You know my block dad. I'm just going to die to this stupid Miss Cloak. Miss Cloaker. Is this match two? Wow. Good lord. I was like, if you have a trick, I swear, boy. Boy, I'll tell you what. Oh, we can bounce the, the this guy and kill your dude. That's a good deal. I will give him hex proof. Yeah, of course you will. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you have that? That makes total sense. <laughs> oh, Kyle, 43 months sub. You are awesome, buddy. What's up? Long time no see, my friend. I have a thousand in store credit on ICG. I need to buy a tier one deck with it. Eldrazi are my favorite tribe, so naturally Eldrazi Tron is what I'm looking at. Black White Eldrazi looks fun, but not tight, tier one strong. It seems like Eldrazi Tron is only less popular or strong. What do you think future? Oh, I have no. I this is a, this is a bad question for me personally, just because I have no idea. I haven't kept up with modern in in uh, in, in a while, and uh, especially not enough to give any sort of valuable insight as to where the format is headed. Yep, so it's a 3-3. That becomes a 4-4 four, four, if I block it. So I guess I just take 6 here and go to 5 life. Whoo! That was the draw that did it right there, boy. I needed that extra. I needed that 5th land. Mm -hmm. Some type of way... They're like, alright, I'll just take three this time because I'm at 20. Oh, do it again. Second verse, same as the first. It's just a just counter our pirate. Counter me pirates, arg. One, two, and a red. Copy the dead eye. Rigorino. Bounce your Lord Arino. Yes. Alright. Well, we're not dead, but it's close because we literally died of this guy next turn and we have no answer to it as of now. Oh, I guess we blink this and just bounce that. I keep forgetting that this doesn't have hex proof. Oh my god. Why? I hope you didn't read the full thing. I, yeah, I did, I did, I did. Oh boy! <laughs> and there was Mama in the kitchen with onions. Jesus! Oh, two unblockable dudes. Cool. I was hoping I wouldn't be just straight dead. Turns out, I am. Make you feel some type of way. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby loves shortening bread. Shortening bread. We have one hope. If we have to hit a land off of Siren's Ruse. Oh god, this is terrible actually. We're dead. What? This is the because this is the clone, so if we blink this, we don't actually have another copy of Dead Eye Hall Dead Rig Dead Rig Hauler. Um so we were actually going to play Ugh. We need one more land. Yeah, it's not, we don't have one of these in play anymore, so we can't actually do that. That's terrible. Beans and cornbread. 
burn, beans and cornbread, burn, burn. <laughs> burp, 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 burp. I'll be ready. I'll be ready tomorrow night. That's good. That's very good. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. Bounce one of these guys, still take two. And they just replay it and we take three instead. Yep. All right. Fun times. Some type of fun times. We're in the firebrand. They got the plunders. Those guys are not have not been great. I think that's the only thing I care about. You alright, man? You just sucking on some ice, bro? Alright. It's real weird, buddy. We're real weird. This hand is not great, but I don't think it's terrible. You'd be wrong. So it is great. No. So it's not great. Maybe. Are you sure you're not thinking about yourself? What? Are you sure... You're not thinking about about I yourself. How, I don't remember how to respond in English. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't care about that guy. He said famous last words. I always feel like you're gonna just rip that curtain down. Just come right down. Because it's a it's a looming threat. Really. That's why I figured you would play your stupid idiot, and then. Then put me, send me to the bone zone. That makes me feel some type of way. Sure. Why not? Some type of way. Can I explain the rest of the stream speaking in the language he made up as a child with his imaginary twin? <laughs> I don't see why not. I feel like he, if he doesn't, it's really weird. Huh. Huh. I feel like we actually have to water not here. Take down the 3 3, I guess. Make you feel some type of way. Huh. I'll be ready. I'll be ready tomorrow night. I don't think you will. Bean said, Going by the I'll lay you low. <laughs> did they? Did that's what that, that Bean said that? Mm hmm. That's what Bean said to Cornbread. That's so strange of them. You think they'll be ready? Tomorrow night? <laughs> I'll be ready. I'll be ready to win the fight. Yeah, we should just dress up as Johnny Depp and then play pirate decks. Oh my god! I don't think I have enough bracelets for that. Sorry. We're gonna do this again. This is great. Oh, you, you need just at least have seventeen bracelets. You have a trick, I see. Okay. Well, that's that's just great. 
You do probably need 17 bracelets. That is correct. Edward scissor hands, more like Edward fish hands. More like Edward Fisher hands. What about Edward watermelon hands? <laughs> that's a that's a classic meme. <laughs> what about Edward John Cena hands? Uh, oh yeah, that was good too. Oh, River Darty can't be blocked by dinosaurs. I don't have any of those, so whatever. Yeah, so this Merfolk Mistbinder is real problematic. I just can't do anything about it. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just going to throw my guys away as they keep combat tricking me into oblivion. Throw some guys away. Make you throw some guys away. I feel like he's making really bad blocks. We just keep getting to kill his good guys by bouncing his stupid idiot. He's stupid idiot. So we know he has the one three and the two two in hand. There's the two two. Do 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 that song? Is it some three eleven? Yeah. Amber is the color of your energy. Whoa. Shades of gold is blend naturally. You know that jam, right? Well, I don't think you're taking fifteen here, so you're probably gonna chump block. You know how pets sometimes stare at weird stuff in the room? Yeah, that's when they see ghosts. Luke, why are you like this? I don't understand. I try to remember most people's names once I know them. If I can, if if I if I'm told someone's name in the chat, it's because it's easier than calling you Frank Love's Gutshot all the time. Like, I mean, I don't know if you deserve to be have your name remembered when you're, uh, you know, people with Blue Tron obsessions really have uh, no soul. They're <laughs> they're lower on the human totem pole, really. No soul is fair though. That's a fair. Oh, what? Did they just skip their turn? I'm really bad at remembering names. You're really bad at life. This is true. I cannot tell why. Good, I hope you... Ha, I lied. Wow, that's messed up, dude. <laughs> oh, my opponent missed two land drops. This is how you win in... Uh, good way to win. This is how you win in Rivals of Ixalan draft. You get two one ones and you just go to town when they, they miss their land drops. Look at all my pirates. I got the Caribbean up in here. I think this game's over. They have to discard now, unless they're gonna we'll reanimate something. Uh, the 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 sheer amount of is this any permanent? Can I bounce their land? No. Okay, just checking. Oh, here he's not giving up though. It's good. No surrender. No defeat. Get that raid. Some type of raid. I can get rid of Swamp. That's fine. Make me see some type of raid. This game. Now this game's over. All right. Well, that was not thrilling. So even when you win, it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel good. You just we didn't really win. We just kind of 
did more than our opponent did. We worked out just a little bit harder. I don't think that's true. What's the best sealed archetype in this set? I have no idea. I haven't done one single sealed event. Uh, I think my dad. What's the answer? What's the question? What's the sealed archetype? My dad. Okay. <laughs> no, I wasn't asking you. I was just curious if my that dad. was... My dad. You win. You win. B -b 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 oh, this hand is fantastic. Even though it's all blue. It's blue. Da you want to do this for me? You want to cover it? You want to... <laughs> da -dee -da -ba -da, da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. Appreciate it. I live in a blue house and everything is blue. Name a movie that that song is in. I don't know. Iron Man 3. Really? Yeah, it's in the very beginning. They have a flashback of a party that he's at and it's in the it's in the background. How do you know that? <laughs> Do you watch Iron Man 3 often? I've watched it enough to know that that is in the... It just stands out. I've only seen that movie once. Maybe you should see it see it again for the first time. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Really? The third one's great. I didn't like the villain. Who? A a Adrian Kill... Kill... Kill uh, you know, that guy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is good, be. Wow. I just had someone kill themselves in the form of the dinosaur. That's pretty good. Here's my creature. Go ahead, kill it. I will not deal with your martyr of smusk. Your martyr of musk. Gross. You're gross. Wow. Don't be wow. You knew you were gross. Wow. Oh, old dire feet. Iron Man 3 is absolutely one of the worst Marvel movies. I don't know, man. Have you seen Thor 2? No, definitely not. I don't think so. I think people who think it's one of the worst Marvel movies are... Uh, they're, they're savages that don't know how life works in the real world. Or even Thor 1. I don't think Thor 1 is that great either. I don't think you're that great. Yeah. I think Thor 3 actually blows the other two Thors. Like It redeems oh, yeah. the entire franchise. Close. That was a good movie. So I think if you average like the all the all the trilogies like the Iron Man, Captain America, Thor trilogy, Thor is a lot closer to the average because of the third movie. I think Captain America still has probably the best trilogy of the of the three. I still think Captain America two might be the best Marvel movie. Right, and I really like the third one. So like I think, you know, having two strong movies in that one in that one trilogy is really good. The first one was pretty good too. Yeah, right. Even the first one was very good. Wow. Those are all trash, I think. I think I can just... Throw them away. But you can add them to your bulk pile. Sell them. I haven't minded the Hulk movies, so... This is kind of a Hulk movie. Thor 3. Yeah. Oh, I agree. But I mean, like, even, like, the, the Edward Norton ones, you know, like... The Edward Norton one was fine. There's only one of them, though. That's what... I, yeah. There was one Edward Norton and one Eric Abana. Or attacks you control on a non-token pirate. You may pay two, make a pirate. I think we just do that. What are they gonna do? Double block? Make me feel some kind of way. <laughs> make me feel some kind of way. I'm actually gonna not this guy. Not this guy. Not this guy. All right. Get him tapped. Tap him up and tap him out. All right, tapity do, dog. You didn't like any of the Captain America movies? Dang. Wow. That's so weird that you've been a sub for like probably like a long time, and I really didn't know you were an utter monster until this moment. <laughs> That's super weird to me. I feel like I would have figured it out before now. Oh, wow, they're going to do some. Yeah, whatever. I don't even care. I'll block your two. No block you. This guy has menace. That's not. Oh, you're gonna double block that guy. Yeah, Thor two was really bad. Yep. There you go. Sure. Take out one dude. I accept. Man, they made me feel some some type of way with that attack. Front all combat damage. You got it. 
I'm blue, blah blah blee, blue, blah blah, blue, blah blue, blee, blah blue, bye. I mean, if you want to block, oh, you guess I guess you block with these two, and it's just terrible for us. Okay. Blah 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 that's the Mario song. That's one of them. There's a lot of Mario songs. Oh, really? No, I Are made you that a up. Mario song expert? No, just because I know they exist doesn't make me a sort of expert. Why not? I don't know why. That's just not how expertism why works. Why not? Oh, the amount I dislike you is so strong. This desk is level. I don't think it is actually, but I appreciate your effort. I to... mean, according to this, it's. What does actually, that look according like? According to this, it's kind of off level. I know. Huh. I literally just told you that. God, so you didn't even listen weird. to me. Why is that weird? I just told you. How how is that even possible? Because the legs are probably not level. The floor could not be level. Your light, your entire life is probably not level. The house that's not level. Dang. That's the yeah. That's the story. The house that's, that's, actually, that's not actually level. Probably way more common than I think. I bet plenty of houses aren't level. I bet you're not level. Wow. Yeah, that's what I said. Making you feel some type of way, boy. Boy. Give me them pirates. Do, 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 do. Gonna block that three, two. Oh, boy. So do I blink this guy and then bounce a thing? Or do I, I guess I blink the, I blink this guy and they just trade here, right? That seems fine. My pirate game need to be strong. Did you just laugh at my pirate game? Look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, a red mana would be nice here. I feel like we can finish them off with this lightning rig crew if you, uh, if you just gave us a red man Magic the Gathering. I'm, I'd really like to feel some type of way at this point. But it's like you don't actually... Everdawn Champion is actually super obnoxious. This card is really frustrating. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to it. All combat damage? That's just... That's just a dummy thing. Red? Actually not bad. We can still... We can keep, keep the caboose rolling. They can block one dude. Oh, no, we don't control the other pirates. Ah, we're still going to blink it anyway. I don't care. They all have menace. I was really hoping we could make a dude, but... Come on, Blinky. Oh, you have a... <sighs> of course you do. Well, there are four, so Lightning Rig Crew definitely finishes the job. wonder how many of these guys they're going to get. Well, I have four in my deck. Are you ready? Just one, huh? Well, that's pretty boring. Let's see if you get another one. No, just two. Okay. So you just go block, 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 block. We played Rigor. That doesn't really do anything. I guess we bounce your token. I guess that's actually fine. Oh, man. Divine Verdict was pretty frustrating there. It was uh, pretty good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get rid of your one one. You can ever have this. You can ever have this. Everdon Champion is super obnoxious. I just can't get by it. I can't get past it. Why are you like this, Everdon Champion? What have I ever done to you? Oh, I see. 
cool. Well, that is literally unbeatable, so. It's pretty good. Oh, boy. If only I had a way to get around that card. Oh, look, a red mana. Four turns and I overpaid. Four turns too late. Literally have no way to deal with a 3-3 lifelinker that cannot be dealt combat damage. Like, there's actually not a way in our, in our entire deck. We have no... Uh, burn removal and we have no creature removal. We can just bounce it if we draw another dead rigger, dead eye rig hauler, or if we draw um, the, the protean shapeshifter. Could have blocked there. I just don't. I'm My tilt is real, so. <laughs> no, water now would work, yeah. I mean. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. We do have three Water Knots in our deck, so we'll see if we can get lucky. Actually, I guess we're not... I guess considering Water Knots are an option, we don't have... We have... We're not that terribly off. These are words I'm saying, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Mega I promise. Alright, so we should be at 13. God, we had them at 4 or 5 or something. Dive down. Oh, you didn't dive down. Okay. Gonna make you feel some type of way. We are definitely gonna go plus one, plus one. Oh, actually, do I get to choose the mode? That seems weird. Here comes Divine Verdict number two. No. No Divine Verdict. Hooray. Well, that feels better. Man, I thought we were dead. I <laughs> like how probably 10% of your deck deals. That. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I underestimated or overestimated. Maybe I estimated wrong. Estimated. Mm -hmm. That's when you... You haven't overestimated. You haven't underestimated. It's just a regular estimate, really. Whoa, that's aggressive. Oh, shoot, shoot. Oh, God, I just missed a point. I'm the worst. We can attack for three, though, but then they just block here, so we actually have to attack with both, but then they just block the three and block the five, so... Hmm, that's it. Sad. Oh, I just threw that point away. I've given away four, at least four points this game, which is pretty frustrating. So I should They'll really, be dead. I should really give them, well one for them and three for me. So so we would be at seven, no ten rather. Great draw there. Yeah, that makes me feel some type of way. Three, four, five. Yeah, we're just gonna get in, just gonna get in here. Block of five takes seven, so you'd be at you would be at two, and we would be at ten. We'll say two to ten. Those are our. You have five damage. If you can deal an extra two here, we're dead. But it doesn't look like it because you did not attack with both. Watch this one point make a difference. <laughs> Actually, maybe not. We can copy this guy, so that's pretty good. The one point does make a difference because it gives them an entire extra turn here, which is sad. We could have just killed them right now. They'd be at two. We'd go shoot, pirate, shoot. Shoot. Oh, 
Oh, we could copy our lightning crew rigger. It doesn't have haste, though. Oh, true. So, like, they're already at one. I'd rather just copy their flyer to block their flyer. Thanks for the sittings blessing, the sitting, sittings blessing, nerd. Sittings? It's still a pirate. We, we're casting a pirate. Like, it's 100% a pirate. <laughs> like, it's when you cast a pirate. I want a pirate in his battlefield. Make me feel some type of way. Wow, that's pretty good. Let's watch this. One damage is going to make the difference. You gotta get rid of this guy, right? And you can't attack with this guy. That one damage is gonna make the difference. Water knot. Hmm. Not ideal. We're there at one. The one damage made a difference. We would be at seven. One to seven would be the Actually, zero to seven would be the current uh, life totals had we not missed the the trigger. All right. Well, I don't feel like they have great attacks here. Like we just block this guy and take two. Like block, block. Okay. Well, you have a trick, I guess. So if you have a trick, we're dead. You might just have another flyer. definitely block here yeah we have to block right because if they're planning on trade if they're planning on killing our guy um then they just kill us instead and if they're just gonna play another flyer then we have no reason not to block so yep well that was the terrible trick like that could have actually won us the game if we just let it go through that was really aggressive of them now we just have to draw a guy so it's actually not terrible. One, Literally one turn too late. God, this one card, dude. Alternatively, we could have actually put it on this guy, attacked, forced them to block, and then gotten our lightning rigger back. That was probably the better play, to be quite honest. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. But they still can't attack right now, is the thing. Like, we block, we block here, we take two, and then they lose their bishop. But, oh, man. These misplays are... Super weird. Hasbro's going to sell Wizards of the Coast in 2021. That's really interesting. It's quite far away. Quite far away? That's actually real good here. Now we can just make clues forever. Blues clues. All Art right. Mean treasures. That's what I meant. They're the same thing. They're, no, they're not. They're artifacts you sacrifice. If we could draw cards. That would be insane. Oh. There you go. Now it's a 3-3. <laughs> nice. Nice tech. That was gas, dude. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, we threw this game away. That's unfortunate. And uh, now we're stuck because... It's a hell of a bomb. I mean, I have to block things. What or not? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. They just go block, block, and kill us with this idiot, right? Yeah. Well, they have to see that, I guess. Or they just go block, block... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we just lost to their mythic because we did not remember our triggers. Cool. <sighs> yep, that would have done it. Put that guy down. I mean, like, I guess they still would have had to a million. Like, this guy's just unbeatable in draft, especially if you're throwing games away. So, can't blame anyone but myself. We're definitely bringing in Horn Swaggle. <laughs> Horn swag, four twenty. <laughs> Yolo, horn swag. 
I got a ruse, maybe. Why were we playing two? I didn't even know. It was fine. Remember to tell a pony you lost. I only lost because I misplayed. I don't think that makes it better though, right? Like, they didn't get lucky. I misplayed. Like, that's that's me playing bad. There's no luck involved. Yeah, like there was literally no luck involved. They would have been. They were at one, and I missed one uh, lightning ring crew trigger. Uh, I don't like Dead Eye Tracker just because. Well, I guess it's fine. I just don't feel like it comes out early enough. To, yeah, that's what I don't like about it. But maybe it doesn't have to. I guess we can find out. I don't know. Wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just hope we hit a red. Most of our deck is blue, so... Whatever. Look, Michael Barbobli boost in the chat. <laughs> Play the copy guy when attacks for... Oh, that's actually a good idea. I like that. I'll take an Azor as well. That's a good one. Not. What if it saves a day? I mean, there has to be a day to save first. We don't actually have a day. Some type of day. Oh, that's actually, that was a great draw. I'm going to go get it now. I do not know the way. That was a, that's a meme. Did you know that? Do you know what that meme? No. Please explain. Do you, don't know the, the, do you know the way meme? I don't know the way. <laughs> Okay, well that's sad, Michael. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sad about that. Oh, he's gonna get the second Legion Conquistador. Post working. What does that even mean? Post Malone. Posty. Some type of way. So we're now locking up time pods. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, are you liking Rick's drafting? I'm not sure. This is my second. This is our second draft, and um, it's so sad when they put it after cube draft because you're just like, well, this isn't the same at all. They're playing a bunch of two twos, and I don't have a three three to beat them. That's a good one. Some type of way. Do we just play neck? No, I'd rather play it pirate here I guess or we can just play a rigor crew the earlier the better yeah I agree with that we miss, eh, I want this guy actually this guy's bigger and then we can play neck breaker next turn and rigor crew I think four five six seven eight yeah that'll do look at all my treasures bro you don't know me you don't know my treasures you don't know my treasure life you know I don't. I know. I don't know your treasure life. That's a good card. That's an annoying card. I got a water knot. Not gonna, not gonna, not gonna attack here anymore. That's for sure. Tie you up before you go go. Play this rig or crew on the board. That's a terrible song. I can't even attack another 2-2s two because they just double block and then we trade a 3-4 for a 2-2 two -two or a 3-3 three -three for a 2-2. Two -two. That's just brutal. Why are you like this? Also, if you guys have not done so, uh, it helps me out a ton. If you guys want to follow or subscribe to this channel, it's uh, those are awesome. Oh, Christ. Never mind. Just forget what I said. I don't even care anymore. Like, the problem, is this when it attacks? All right, so it's kind of like a raid trigger. So if we can draw, I love that I just used my water knot. I would have I would have waited if, uh, had I known. Ooh, that'll do it. You're, oh, you were just being, you are just kidding. Yeah, I was, I was joshing. That's a good, that's a good meme. How is that guy ever beatable? It's not. Like, this is, okay, so like, cool, I, this gives plus two, so I have two five power guys and it's a six six. Awesome. Why this can't be a five five? I don't know. All right, just lost the game. That's I'm having a good time. Got him. He 
you got wrecked. That's a that's how getting wrecked works, boy. Sure. No, just one. Oh, just a six six. Just take three. Wow, that's so stupid. Why would you even do that? Why would you ever risk that guy? If I have the double strike card. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I almost want to exile like something like this, just so I could potentially draw it and kill it. I know that's not right though, but I will draw it right now. Ready? It's gonna be the top card. What is going on? I can't play instance. I he's they're completely correct to do this. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. You got it. That's cool. I had a good time. I've never actually. Uh, I've never actually had that. I've never played against that card, so I totally forgot about the second half because it seems like an irrelevant part of the card. That's terrible. Shame scoop is stupid. Yeah, we can just regular scoop because we're going to die to that. Yeah, I don't have to shame scoop when my death is imminent. I mean, maybe they get a hit in. Maybe we draw. Maybe we get to draw the stupid uh, water knot. We got three water knots. Yeah, of course you draw three. Game three. Oh my god, dude. Seems pretty good. Oh, limited. I love limited. Try again. Okay. This time? Yeah, it just threw this guy away to play a, this guy for one less, even though I clearly didn't need to. No blocks. Oh, and also they have no cards in their graveyard. That's pretty terrible. One time. Sure. This card is unbelievable. Like, why is this a card that you can play in a limited game? Oh my god, every time. I'm just not. I'm sorry, guys. Not my finest hour. I'm just super... Uh... Super frustrating to play against this card. Yeah, it's pretty unreal. I mean, especially because we won we basically won the last game if we just met if we just didn't mess up. Oh, you just don't want to gain life and draw cards here. Okay. Seems good. I mean, you got seven cards, I guess. Why would you? You don't have the Sphinx's relation every turn, I guess. That makes sense. I can understand that. I can get behind. Missed one. They should be at sixteen. I like your ambition. So we got two draws. What's my ambition? The, uh, like this game will matter ticket for 16. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I like to keep it real, so. I had the White Elder Dinosaur in my first draft. We never cast it at once because it was eight mana. Dead Eye Brawler. Well, I will have the city's blessing, but it doesn't matter because I have death. I guess we block. Hope they don't have a way to kill it. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Old Neckbeard. Neckbeard up before you go, go. How do we survive? That's the question. So you have to stay back. Stay back. Oh, you're just going to... Why? Oh, I see. Okay, well. You got it. Do you control a pirate? I bet this is a pirate. Of course it is. So now you get to tap things. Yep, that'll be the end. All right, guys. That was uh, less fun than I wanted it to be, unfortunately. 
and uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll have better luck next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. It's been awesome. Sorry if there was a slight amount of salt, but losing two mythics and your own misplays is not the best. Uh, but uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons down there. And I'll see you next time. Have a good night.